Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for The Flash issue 12. So let's see what's going on with this issue, and let's talk about the cover first. Um, yeah, I like the cover a lot. I love Francis Manipal's art. He is one of my favorite artists, and he's back doing um, the interior art for this series. So definitely, um, really love the art. I mean, definitely one of my favorite arts that I look forward to every month. So, uh, great artwork, great concept. This happens in the issue. Um, this girl, I don't know what her name is, um, Glinder, Glider. Yeah, Glider. Um, she plays a major role in this issue, and, um... Yeah, so the cover really does explain what's going on in this issue, and it's great art. So definitely a great cover, but let's see if I like the story. So um, in this issue, really with a lot of issues with Flash, um, there has been a developing story of the rogues. You know, them forming new 52 version of all the rogues. I think in the annual, because they have a little promo stuff here, um, it's going to really explode with the whole rogue thing going on. So... I think that's going to be the continuation of this issue. I don't know if they said anything in the end. Because um, I know issue 0 is next. So I'm not going to have a continuation of this story. But it might continue issue 13. Nope. It does continue in um, uh, Flash Annual issue 1. And um, also Seeker Origins is going to be in issue 0. So uh, this story will continue in the annual. And it's going to be a big you know, explosion of the rogues. And really getting to see Flash. Uh, fight the rogues and this new 52 version of the rogue so that's definitely should be exciting that's a story that's been developing because you see like here and there we get to see you know different uh rogue villains and now really they're all coming together to really form the team of the rogues and really fight the flash so um i feel like that's what happened in this issue is the development of the rogues flash real realizing the rogues are here um and them kind of like forming into a team and them really having some destruction in the city. Um, also, we have a big uh, main player that really became a main player after uh, Flash came out of the Speed Force and a couple issues ago, um, which is Dr. Elias. He used to be, you know, uh, Flash's friend, you know, he helped him out with uh, the Speed Force saying, oh, you shouldn't do this because you're affecting the Speed Force. Like, he was a nice guy. But um, after uh, Flash came out of the Speed Force, we find out he isn't a nice guy. He just did that for science. Now, he has his own motives, you know, and he doesn't care whose reputation he ruins. He just wants to make his reputation better, you know. So, uh, Elias is this big bad villain. I have to say he reminds me a lot of, like, Lex Luthor and... Um, I love how he plays that, like, big role in society and how he really wants to make Flash look bad, and he's doing a great job with it, too. And I feel like Elias is going to be a big villain for Flash, and I can see him becoming really um, an arch uh, nemesis for uh, for Flash because he's like, seems that bad of a villain, and I hope that does happen because he seems like a very interesting character, and I can't wait to see more of him. Uh, when I first saw him in, um, really, I think, before the Speed Force uh, story arc, when we first saw him there, you were like, oh, he doesn't really seem that important of a character. It really reminded me of uh, Smallville. They had this scientist, I can't think of his name, Emmett, maybe? I don't remember. He was, like, kind of a main character, but he was on the sidelines. It felt like no one really cared about him, and he knew, you know, about Clark, but he helped Clark, but he wasn't really a main character, not really a main supporting character. But I felt like that was Elias's role before this. But now Elias is really taking a role that is interesting and becoming a villain and I think he's gonna be a really big um, challenge I'm actually more excited because I'm just became a flash fan um, with the last flash series which was pretty short-lived because of new 52 um, I became a flash uh, fan then so I don't know much about the rogues you know I've been learning through the new 52 and issues I've been reading but you know I'm not a big fan of the rogues like you know big flash fans are so I'm more excited for Elias and his story he seems like a really interesting character and really interesting villain and um i'm more excited for that than i am for the rogues but i am pretty excited for the rogues also see more of them in the annual issue so uh there's a lot of good stuff happening with the flash i think uh this is a pretty solid issue you know nothing like blows your mind in this issue but there's a pretty good cliffhanger and uh, makes you want to pick up the annual even though the annuals are usually a little bit more money because they are giant size you know so I'm pretty sure it would be giant size this annual also. So, 
but it should be interesting. I'm definitely going to pick it up. I've been really liking this series. I don't know if I've been like, you know, this is my best series of DC, but I feel like this is have, has been a solid series for me, and I love the art. Francis Manipool does such a good job, and um, I do look forward to reading this every uh, month, and it's a really good series, and if you don't know much about The Flash, it doesn't matter, because they're recreating these characters like Gorilla Gra, they're recreating the rogues, you know, they're making it into something different and fresh. So I really do like the Flash uh series because of that. And they do it in a way that doesn't ruin the character either. It's like I hate how they're making them new. Like a lot of characters they do with the new fifty two. They made them new and you're kinda hating them. But with this they're actually making it fresh but you're actually still liking these villains. So um definitely it was a good issue. This has been a solid series and I look forward to reading it every month and I can't wait until the and we'll see, you know, what happens with the rogues, what's happening with um, Elias. And there's definitely a lot more story with this series, and I can't wait to see more. So I say pick this up. I give it four stars. It's pretty solid. There's a pretty good cliffhanger that you'll want to pick up the annual. And it's a uh, great art, you know, great story, and uh, pick it up. I give it four stars. This is Comic Uno. Hope you guys enjoyed. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for uh, Comic Uno in the rant situations to get news about my upcoming videos and just my uh, two YouTube channels. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, pick this up and um, I give it four stars. Bye, guys. Comic Uno.